Our students can reach more information than ever. But we all know that not all the information from the internet is necessarily true. Actually, the internet is flooded with wrong and misleading information that can manipulate our kids. In this video, I'm going to show you how to teach your students to recognize fake news. Hi, I'm Jacob from We Teach Europe. On this channel, we help European teachers to stay informed about current trends in education. Press the subscribe button in order to see all new videos we make for you, teachers. Fake news isn't anything new. This information was used for hundreds of years to manipulate masses of people. But the digital age made it even easier for anyone to create it and share it. That's the reason why it is more important than ever to teach our students media literacy. According to Common Sense Media's research, less than half of kids from the western part of the world can differentiate fake news stories from the actual ones. It is a real problem nowadays. That is why we prepared a short guide on how to talk to your students about fake news. Most disinformation comes from social media, emails or untrustworthy websites. On the other side, the internet might be also the best tool for fact-checking. Double-checking and decoding fake news can be actually fun. It obviously depends on the age of your students, but just imagine playing games as internet detectives. Who doesn't love detectives? Let's start with the fun part, images checking, officially called Google Reverse Image Search. Just open Google Images, press this camera, and then paste the internet address or upload a picture, just as I do. Google can recognize what is shown in the picture and where the picture is used on the internet. Back to the game. For example, prepare four images with short description. Three of them are correct and the last one is incorrect. Let your students check it on Google and then ask them these questions. Where does the image show up? That means what web pages use the image and what they wrote about it. Where was the picture taken? Does it truly come from the described place or can we find it anywhere else? And last but not least, was the picture edited? After answering these questions, students should be able to recognize which picture is fake and which one is real. Have you done this image exercise before? How did your student like it? Tell us your opinion in the comment section below. And let's move on to another part that can be used even for other students. It's all about decoding fake news articles. Let's choose a topic and take two articles from two different sources. Choose ideally sources which your students don't know. And you guess right, one article is true and the second is not. It's literally enough to replace one sentence because it can change overall meaning. Then we are going to create a checklist in order to compare our articles. We can start with something easier. The internet address of the website, is it really what it appears to be? Because there is a very big difference between bbc.com and bbcvertruenews.info. I guess you understand me. Let's move to the title. How does the article attract my attention? Is it a clickbait or does it use caps lock and lots of exclamation marks? <laughs> no way. Do we know the author of the article or website? And is the person even existing? And what about the organization? Is it a trusted source? And who is the owner? This article might seem legit, but if all the other articles on the website are fake news, should we really trust it? And lastly, but most importantly, how do I feel after reading the article? Not all the news makes you feel happy, obviously. But if the article is trying to change my perspective somehow, and I feel miserable after reading it, then I guess there is something wrong with the article. With these activities, we would like to teach your students how to check information. There are even professional organizations that constantly check facts. For example, factchecked.org, politifact.com, and there are even more of these in your native language. A great source about media literacy is commonsense.org. All the links will be listed below. That's it for today. Do you plan teaching about fake news in your school? Or do you already do so? Tell us more in the comments below and let the other teachers know. If you like this video about fake news, please press the like button. But mainly, 
you can send this video to your colleagues who may be interested in this topic as well. If they need to, we have subtitles for them. We are making new videos about innovative teaching for you every week. Press the subscribe button so you don't miss a new video next week. See you next time.